Ready, babe? Ready. An 18 wheeler had a blowout in front of us. Oh, yeah. They farted in the elevator. And now Sierra has pink eye. Hopping back on the ride of shame. Dang it, there's got to be one class that I can take a trophy home in this weekend. <laughs> vlogging this weekend we are. Uh -huh. and told everyone that this is going to be your first go-kart race ever yeah, and you're pretty, scared pretty nervous about it don't be nervous it'll be just fine yeah it's like throwing an infant that's never swam before just in a pool hey learn to swim it isn't quite like that but the next clip from here is just going to be her going yeah. it's 5 30 in the afternoon and we have to drive pretty much all the way to Tulsa. It's like five and a half hours, something like that. We're in the uh, GT350, so hopefully we can shave like an hour off of that. Slow down there, buckaroo. Realistically, we're not in any huge hurry. Officially on the road, hanging up. So we've made it like an hour down the road and popped into Bucky's. If you're not from Texas, you probably don't know what Bucky's is, but it's the biggest, baddest gas station on the planet they have like literally everything it's like a walmart of gas stations their logo that's their logo right there bucky's i'm pretty positive they're only in texas but they have so much stuff and uh sierra is inside grabbing some chairs and we don't have any for the race this weekend she's knocking on the trunk boom bada bing bada boom time to keep trucking all right so we have to make another quick pit stop at the race shop uh, which is exit 64 right on 35 in Oklahoma and for those of you that don't know directly across the interstate I mean literally it's about a quarter of a mile away is the greater Winniewood Zoo where Joe Exotic himself resided and now his new partners or whoever or however all of that works this is it welcome to the greater Winnie Wood exotic animal park yeah there's Jeff's Hummer right there if I can zoom in Jeff loves Hummer you know what we're done you just f***ed it up we're done well we are now back at the race shop after getting about 20 miles down the road because we had a little bit of a mishap driving down the road and an 18-wheeler had a blowout in front of us and ripped the front end of the car off. Oh yeah, nice work there, bud. It sounds terrible. There's all kinds of stuff rubbing. So I will say at least we are where we are and I can rip some of this stuff out from underneath it and at least get back going again. Here's Richard just laying on the ground, drinking his coffee. What a disaster. You want some tan stamps? Yeah, that'd be way better. I wasn't gonna get picky on the tool selection. This is such a bummer. Such a bummer. Don't have to worry about parking up too close to the curb because it's already messed up. <laughs> Here we go. Ouch. Truck. Tire. Hit. Me. And then definitely a sad face and potentially a tear or two. It's really sad. I think one probably would go here well. Sad face with a couple of tears. I keep sighing, hoping that it's gonna make this feeling in my stomach go away. It isn't working. All right, well, got a little picnic. Get back on the road. Keep you posted if anything else ridiculous happens. All right, well, we got in at like 1.30 in the morning and I'm sleepy. After our whole truck tire altercation and all of the things, we're just a little bit behind this morning. Practice started at um, 8.30 and it's 8.30 and it's about 30 minutes to get out there. Somebody did one of the worst things in the world today already. Hey. They farted in the elevator and left it, and now Sierra has pink eye. 
Hey, so this is Tyler Dunn of 360 Reps, his beautiful wife Felicia, and Tyler is going to be racing go-karts with us this weekend. That's accurate. First race ever. He's in Sierra's class. <laughs> and so are you. But I'm also in the same class too. Alright, y'all ready? We need to make a stop at Starbucks. So my basic wife here is in a good mood today. So, we had to make a couple of adjustments to Tyler's and Sierra's cart. The pedals were a little too long for how short their little legs are. So, now it's, now it's all fixed up and the track's hot. We're gonna suit up and go make some laps. Practice has gone well. Didn't expect on racing today, however, there is a cart that some other people own that um, they're gonna let me race it for them this afternoon. It's the four stroke class, and you have to be absolutely perfect, like no mistakes can be made. So this category like keeps you completely honest. So anyway, gonna go sweat it out a few more times and uh, go from there. All right, we're greeting up out here, and look at how many carts are that direction. And then look at how many carts are this direction. There's 36, something like 36 people in this class. So this is going to be an absolute bloodbath. All right, here we are back in the pits after one half of a lap. The chain came off. But, things were going well. We were about to be passing everybody. It's race time. Four strokes. Tyler suited up. Got old K-Dog Kelly over here. There's my card, the number five. Ready, babe? Ready. Good deal. Was that not so fun? I'm ready for a snack. Right? <laughs> nah. Are you exhausted? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm Did born. you finish? No, yeah, I you finished. finished. And you finished? Yeah. And what happened to you? I had no finish. You spun? Uh, no, there was... Oh, you got caught up? I got caught okay. up. Okay. 
you can't make any mistakes. That's the thing. I made like a couple little ones here and there, and then I ended up making one big one. It was a difference in eight seconds in one lap. And then once you lose the draft, it's over. Like you have to be pushing and be getting pushed the whole way to be fast at all. When I was running in the front group, we were running 144 minute laps which is just insane. When they're by themselves, they're about 15 to 16 seconds slower per lap. An absolute bloodbath for a lot of people. Yesterday, none of us really ran fantastic. I ended up 14th out of 50 something in the four stroke class. And then Sierra was 39th out of 50 something, which is especially good for her first race. Tyler coming in hot and dead last because he got into a little fender bender um, in the tag. My cart didn't start, so I ended up two laps down by the time we got going. So, with that said, all we can do today is improve on yesterday. So, headed to the track now. Hopping back on the ride of shame. The race in the four stroke, the chain came off again. And I was running good, started like uh, 46 out of 56 and got up at least in the top 20 or so and the chain came off. So, parking this one, gonna go hop in the tag. Gosh dang it, there's gotta be one class that I can take a trophy home in this weekend. At least one man of one shot left. Not to add any drama to any of this, but literally, one shot left, fingers crossed. Just ran the tag race, 30 minutes, second place from the start. Pretty much second place the entire time. I was about 100 foot behind the leader for the majority of the race and I realized I'm not catching him at all. We're laying down literally identical lap times pretty much to the tenth of a second. The laps are about a minute and a half long. Best lap was 128. So I realized since I wasn't catching him, I needed to start trying something different. That didn't work either. He started dropping away further. He ended up going off in the hairpin and I got around, finished the race, got the W. So after such a trialing weekend, I almost didn't even run this race this afternoon. I thought, man, as long as the drive home is, I should probably just get an early start and get on the road, especially based on because of the things that happened along the way, hitting the truck tire and everything. But all said and done, better ran it, won it, try to make another one here in a, couple, here in a month or so. So stay tuned. Oh, 